Hi chaps, Sam P here from Beard, Biceps and Bat Chat. Today I'm bringing you some gameplay on Siegfried Line in my Cromwell. Now, I'm quite pleased with this gameplay and I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Firstly, the crew in the Cromwell just went in it today. So it's 75% out of 100% on the crew completion to the vehicle. There's no equipment and no crew skills on either the tank or the crew. Um, I'm teamed up with Ogie from EXP and a uh, couple of his uh, chaps. Um, it's a tier 6, tier 7 game, so I'm not top tier, I'm not bottom tier. Um, so what I'm going to look to do is take advantage of the characteristics of the Cromwell, which is very good gun mantle, very good speed, and a great rate of fire on its gun. So I've got all the packages unlocked for the Cromwell. So uh, it's not like I'm running a stock Cromwell with no equipment, it's still a very, very good tank. So what I've told the guys is I'm going to push down the 1-2 line. I don't feel I'll be much use in the town, so what I really want to do is try and uh, be a bit of a pain in the ass of the uh, red team. Push along their back line, try and spot as much as I can. Um, basically just be a nuisance while driving like an absolute idiot. So you saw about 30 seconds of uh, special gameplay. There's a reason for that. At that point in time, my daughter fancied a little go of the uh, controller. So what you're seeing back then was her efforts. So what I want to do here is take out this Type 58. He's pretty concentrated on uh, trying to spot our team, poking his nose over the ridge. So we've got plenty of time just to put three shots into him, just to take him out for the first kill. Now, I don't want to stay static too long. The reason being I don't have six cents, so I have no idea when I'm spotted. And also they've got two uh two artillery which can do quite a lot of damage if I'm too uh well if I'm too static. At this point I'm taking incoming fire from the ridge ahead of me, so I've got a good idea there's at least one, maybe two TDs up there. So I'm actually looking just to move from cover to cover just to utilise my speed a little bit. So there's the first T D, the type sixty seven, there's the second T D. Thankfully my team just piles shots into him. And then I'm in a little bit of trouble here, so I've got to figure out a way how to take out this medium. Thankfully, uh, Artie helped me out for my second kill, or I would have been pinned in place. And what I want to do is just to clear the hill here, get rid of all the TDs up here, take this one out for my third kill. As you notice, things are very, very much going my way. I was pretty certain I was going to have a, a good game at this point, with Artie taking out stuff for me that should have left me in a difficult position. I'm just going to look to put a couple of uh, flanking shots into this on me. I don't think I'll get the kill on him. Nope, we did. We managed that one as well. Now, I'm right in the backfield of their deployment. So, I'm yeah, I'm going to be honest here. I was hunting for Artie at this point. Four kills in. I thought, I've got a good chance to get the top gun. They've got two Artie. They can't be too far away. And then I noticed this cheeky little chap. Static, not moving. And I think, perfect. Put the first shot into him. Swing back around. I didn't want to carry on circling him, the reason being in case the gun aim went off, the crew's not great in it, so I've got to be a little bit cautious with how I'm, uh, well, <laughs> to avoid doing that, just missing shots. So we circle the first RT, put two shots into him, then just get the third one into him. Now this SU-141 gets his shot off, he did everything he could, he turned in time, he went for the shotgun, he just missed me. But unfortunately, he's just not able to keep up with me. His reload isn't, doesn't compare, obviously, to the Cromwell's rate of fire. So we're able to take him out for the seventh kill. Now, I would get very excited at this point, And I'm trying to figure out the best way to get my uh, my Radley Walters. Now, I know they've got a TD and a medium down the zero line that people are frantically uh, highlighting for me to, uh, to go and play with. So the T-43 is completely distracted. He's not interested in me. Other people are putting shots in, so I'm just going to hammer shots into him. Um, I'm not particularly aiming for any particular modules. I'm just looking to put shots into him just to farm damage. Now, even though he's dropped off the map, I know with one shot, he's still there. He's not moved. He's taken a shot back at me. He's still there because he spotted me, so I can safely look to go for the blind shot. Now it's at this point I get very, very trigger happy. Um, I'm not likely to hit anything. I'd love to say I'm trying to put suppressive fire down. That wasn't the case. I was trying to go for my ninth kill. Um, you know, I had shot. It's got plenty of ammo, this tank, so I wasn't too shy of it. I 
pretty confident I'm going to get it on this T20. And then this happens. I get tracked randomly and absolutely... <laughs> so I've taken out about two minutes of gameplay just so you're not sat around. And we've managed to win the game. Now I was quite surprised by the outcome of this game but really pleased with it. I managed to get 3,000 experience, I managed to get my mastery on it, I managed to get my Radley Walters, Devastator, um, that's n oh, and a Top Gun, that's not too bad for uh, having a 75% crew, no equipment, um, no crew skills, so very, very pleased with that result. Um, I'd be really interested to see how you guys get on if you've had any battles like this where you've had unexpected Radley Walters medals. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel, chaps, if you're enjoying the content. And I will catch you next time, chaps.